The real truth behind what kids are learning in school and what they need to be learning. The real truth? So you're going to bring us the real truth? The real truth. The I can't, lies. I, I can't wait to no hear about lies. this. No lies. Honesty only, peeps. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never give it up. No, I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I worried about you. I need So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never give it up. No, I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I what kids are learning in school and what they need to be learning. The real truth? So you're going to bring us the real truth? The real truth. The I can't, lies. I, I can't wait to no hear about lies, this No lies. Honesty only, peeps. And then also, the last few episodes, you have all been grilling me with some questions. So today, the questions that I normally send you to in our the chat QOD. on Google, the QOD, we're going to do it here live on camera. I hope I have it because it's on my phone. I have it. Please I have it don't. In here. All right, so no. let's get rolling. So, I, I quit. so what's our I, topic? I what's the topic today? What's the overall topic? The topic is what schools are teaching. The real truth about what schools are teaching versus what we're learning at home life. All right, so let me start off with this. We've been home lifing, homeschooling for since November, since since Thanksgiving break. It's fine. Since okay. Thanksgiving break. I hope they do. And hear that. and if they did. I'm sure whispering. That's now how many months? So that was November, like, December, January, February, March, April, May. Six months, a little months. over. Give or take. Going to be soon more than six months. What does that mean? So six Give months, or plus or minus, a little bit more, a little bit less. Because it was at the end of November, so we don't count the month of November. So I just said December. Uh oh, oh I thought February, you said March. So April, give or May. take. So about six months. So in the six months of homeschooling, we're calling it homeschooling to people understand what we're talking about. We say home life, like, what are you But talking if about? you are a recent or long time viewer, then you know what home life is. Follower. A subscriber if oh. you're on YouTube. Here we go again. If you're so a long YouTube. time, so six months about, let's say, of homeschooling. Yes. Before that, you went to school for how many years? I What grade are you? I don't even know what grade you guys are in anymore. I, I forgot. Years of, I had two years of preschool, one year of kindergarten, one year of first grade, one year of second grade, and one year of third grade. Really? So six years. I thought you had three years. All right. Forget grade. preschool. Like in kindergarten. What grade were you in? What third. grade did you have just finished? Third. You would have just finished third. You would have finished what? Because now school year would have been over right now. I would be going to a different no, school. No, you fools are on vacation a few weeks, all year round. We have something called Vacation Week actually this week where we get to stay up later than we normally do. Yeah, we have Vacation Week. And we get to wake up a little later. We have Freedom Week, Vacation Week, whatever you want to call and it. And a little going. bit later is like 5.30 a.m. Yeah, sure. For you, like it's it's like 2 p.m. You're barely just wiping the crust out your eyes. It's not even 2 p.m. Did you oh, work wait, out no, yet today? It's 2.20. I don't know. You better get that shit done after this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah that okay. means all of this preparation is going through the sinkhole if you don't work out. Yeah. So. You mean down the drain? <laughs> all right. So let's talk about some things that you. Oh, right, let's get a starting joke. Let's talk about some a joke. All right, go. But all can right. we do a riddle and a joke? Go. It's not the okay. same. What is an astronaut's favorite key on the keyboard? Oh. Zero. I'll, you know, I'll start over because I'm confused. Wait, what, say the question again. Then now you're confusing me. That oh, make me think oh, I missed something. Astro what? Just starts with an A. <laughs> Why would it be? I don't know. I, I, it's a letter. It's a key. Go. What is an astronaut's favorite key on the keyboard? Favorite key on a keyboard. I gotta write. Uh, return. No keyboard. I'm thinking like a keyboard. Yeah. 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 Is. So return. Why are you looking at me? I'm crazy. Enter. No. Turn. No. Page up. Page down. End. Shift. Control. Alt. Delete. Oh. Caps lock. Tab. Freaking no. Number lock. Mm -mm. F1. F7. What the hell? This is so stupid. Power. Two. Oh, A B C D F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V. Time. Give me a hand. Okay. You put your hands up and you're like, you would have gotten it. 
She's like this, like I'm some dumbass or something. <laughs> Jesus, what a disappointing look. You looked at me like I'm a disappointment to like the family heritage. The legacy is the legacy is now swirled down the toilet bowl because I didn't get this dumbass joke. It went down the drain in the sinkhole. In the sinkhole. <laughs> Give me a hint. Okay. It's a very, very common, 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 common. It's what's in between different words. Dash, comma, space, space. Oh my the god. Space, space bar. bar. Ah! So I get half. That's why I went. That was like extra. You gave me extra. That's, point, I only get point two five. Point two five. Point two five points. And then I get your riddle. All right, no, no yeah, we're going to get going with the show. We can get to that later. So, oh, that is like so good. All right, so what's what's one of the main things you work on, Midge, that you didn't work on in school that you think would be something that kids your age would love to work on in school and should work on in school and be beneficial to them to work on in school, maybe if they chose to? What do you think it would be? What's one of your main things? Self-sufficiency, like gardening. Don't just get, just say gardening. You gotta be all nerd like. Self-sufficiency. Self gardening, thing. livestock, homesteading. What does that mean? But let me ask you this then. Before you even get into that stuff and what you do with that stuff and what you learned on it, because we can't sit and t talk about everything you learned on it, but do you think every kid in school Is gonna be able to learn should that. have to learn that? No. Not everyone should. I'm talking to her. Sorry. Do you associate now as a little no, 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 seven-year-old no. girl with blonde hair? If you do, let me know. We can get you a nice little pink dress. She doesn't even wear dresses. Well. I don't like dresses. And I'm nine. Same thing. That's a fact. Fact? That's a fact. It's all right. Fact. Do you think all kids should learn? So you're saying gardening is something kids should learn in school. Do you think all kids should learn it in school? I think all kids should learn it, but... Sometimes kids are in situations where they can't or they don't need to, but I think all kids should learn it. But so then, what do you like? Something like that, or anything like, and the other things we're going to talk about. What do you think? How should they go about it? Like, if that's an, something in school that they can learn in, like, say, elementary school, you're in third grade. How do you? Dis who does it and who doesn't do it? Well, which kids? If you're saying everyone. Everyone does the same exact thing. In the school you used to go to. I'm saying yeah. in your world of school, your vision of school, saying, right, we're talking about what school kids should be learning in school. So if this is they something should they should be learning to have a little bit of freedom. So should, well, okay, then now, now we're getting somewhere. So should all schools be learning, all kids in the same class at the same time be learning gardening? Yes. You say no and you say yes. So explain why yes. Because, like, it'd be. It'd make more sense for having, like, gardening in, like, say, one section. Like, All right. Well, you're about to kids. shoot yourself in the foot. Are you what? familiar with that term, shoot yourself in the foot? Yes. Like, you're about to screw I, yourself I, over? I, I, okay, explain. so if that's the way it should be, why are you not learning gardening with her here on homeschooling? <gasps> you just screwed yourself. And can I explain why oh. not? Why? If they, if they all learn the same exact things at the same time, they wouldn't be able to learn from each other. That too, but what if he just didn't want to learn gardening? Oh, you don't shoot. shoot. I did shoot myself in the leg. So now you have to go. You it's, in the, it's in the foot. Jesus, I'm trying to let you, you have a foot. You probably just shoot like shot your head off. I'm going to shoot your femoral artery and bleed out in like a minute. Oh, that actually happened to a guy. Let me just say a quick story. In school, there's like. A kid shot himself in the foot no, in the no, leg no, no, and he bled no. out under a minute? No. A what kid. school are you going to? Were you, I thought you were like a nice little. Rich neighborhood. You're in a. You're going to the ghetto. No. So a, a sixth a grader shot him in the leg. No. Holy no. I never said a sixth grader shot fucking, him in the leg. I didn't even know you guys were a bunch of little gangbangers. So, so this kid told me about this guy that was doing chicken fighting. It was like on the news or something. He was doing chicken fighting, and the chickens have these blades coming out of their feet, so they can that, fight. Those are called claws. And oh, they, they put razor blades on. And then, and oh, and one of the chickens like lost it, and, and it cut one of those guys' arteries, and the guy bled out and died from the chicken. <laughs> Good thing this is a family show. <laughs> from the chicken. The sixth grade gangbangers who are shooting each other in the leg with their killer demon freaking chickens. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Holy shit, we're just trying to talk about school and gardening. Why are you so be 
We're talking, talking about planting lettuce, and next thing you know, some there's some murderous chicken on the loose, <laughs> like slashing fools to their death. What the but shit? I used to be in school, I used to call my friends gang friends. Gang friends? <laughs> That's true. I used to call them for gang friends. Your little gang friends? Because they're little friends. gangsters? So. Oh, wow. So do you get what, what my point was, or what the point of that question was? Like, why don't you learn gardening right now? Murder chicken. Murder chicken on loose. Why don't you learn gardening? Okay, can you please relax? I can die. Because you I'm not. And you said, because first you said you should have some freedom, and then you said, yes, I'll teach you learning. <laughs> the chicken just killed me. Mitch, enough. We can't hear him. All right, well. Uh, okay. Or maybe not all kids should learn it. Kids mm. should decide whether or not There's they the want to. There's the thing I'm looking for. Certain things maybe all kids should learn. A, like, ver a very few things. Like, no, we'll get into some other things in a second yeah, yeah, about what like, kids should learn. Uh -huh. About like the next the next thing. So gardening. So you're learning all about gardening. We're not going to go into details. Now, I know you want to nerd out right now, Mitch, and talk about, well, the what was that fence thing you were talking trellis. about? Oh, my God. What is that? A what? A trellis. What is a trellis? A tumor? Because see, she wants to nerd out and tell us all about the nerd things that she studies, and it's great that you're learning it, but we'll lose every one of our <laughs> subscribers if we just start talking about trellises. <laughs> subscribers. A trellis is something that certain plants need to climb up to kind of like hold on to. Do chickens so have they... trellises? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's only for plants. Wait, plant is climbing wait, is up a it? Ladder, is a ladder technically a trellis? Is it kind of like a fence? Is it kind of like a fence looking thing? Yeah. Sort of? It, and it looks like a fence. It's kind of shaped it, like a fence. Well, not all trellises. Why is some trellises? My point some exactly. Some trellises are made. Why does it gotta be a trellis? Why do you gotta try to be all nerdy I know. and difficult? Why did you just call it a fence? It's a freaking fence. The the what is, is the fence. What does a trellis even mean? What does the actual word trellis mean? What is no, the, like origin of the word trellis? No, we don't have time for that. Oh, but oh, do you even know? We should do a trellis. Know. You know what we should do? Mean something that a plant climbs up. You know cucumber. that's like glaring in the listeners' ears on this microphone. Squash, cucumber, cucamelons. All right, so something you think that kids should have an and option. Other stuff. Listen, stay on track. So you think kids should kind of have some freedom and options to decide what they want to learn in school. The shit that they like, the shit they want to learn, the shit they think was going to be useful in the rest of their life. Yeah. Okay. Maybe their parents can help them decide which ones choose. Like, right? Like, in that way. Okay, right before we move on, you guys want to hear a really cool fact. About apples, did you know that apples were actually uh, are actually part of the rose family? Where are we? All right, moving on. Fact. Moving on. Fact. Fact. There goes. Uh, there goes. Uh, we were, we started this show with about nine subscribers, <laughs> and you lost. <laughs> when you started nerding out with the trellis. You went down to like seven. Now you talked about a, 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 a rose and an apples and cucumbers and shit. We're down to like. We're two. down to three. The three of us are our only subscribers. <laughs> I'm not subscribed to his channel. And I may even unsubscribe myself. All right, so... Wait, to my channel? So you think the kids should have some... Stay focused. You think the kids should have some freedom in choosing what they want to do. So, like, she chooses gardening, you choose guns. And sometimes she'll dip into the guns and learn a little bit about it, right? And, once and, in a, and you'll, you'll learn a couple things about gardening sometimes, or at least the basics, and she'll tell you... Like so, a trellis! Oh, my God. That is not a basic. That is not Did basic. You know that, that is, like, high-level nerdery. Did you Wild lettuce is Latin or scientific name is Lactuca seriola. All right, there goes our <laughs> remaining subscriber. They don't want all the nerd facts. They don't want all the nerd facts. They do. All right. They need them. So what's something you think to survive? All right, they need done. Them to survive done. Their trellis. <laughs> what's something you think that all kids like? There's certain things like speaking regular English, I guess, like. Like, but, like there's these things called starting a it's called communicating. I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. Okay, steal his stuff. Ow. What do you think is something all kids should learn? All kids should learn is public speaking and like how to operate computers and stuff. One at a time. Oh, public, one at a time. Okay. Public speaking and operate so, computers. Okay, so public so like public just speaking, public and, speaking? And, and starting conversations. So and only one-on-one? -on -one? What about like just on a regular one-on-one -on -one basis with someone? Should they only, who should they learn how to have, start conversations with? They're a kid. They're a kid? Probably like their parents. Okay, who else? Other kids. What other adults. Other kids, what age? Huh? Their age. Starting probably. Or all think? ages. What do you think? 
Tyson's three years older than me. He's not my age, but we still have conversations. We do? Exactly. So they're siblings. So you keep shooting yourself in the foot. First you say you should have all this, then you say we are only our own age. Like, yeah. Wow. This what happens on Freedom Week. Is it Vacation Week or Freedom Week? I don't so know. So should you only be learn how to st- have a conversation? How, what's, a be- what's the best way to start a conversation? Ask a question. Ask, a question. ask questions. So do you, like, what are some questions you could ask that you could always just pull out to start a conversation? Do you work out? Look at that. Do you work out? Imagine that. Do you read books? Imagine that 11 year old having a conversation with an adult saying, Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Oh, so do you work out? They're like, what the hell? <laughs> but it's now, they're like, do you oh, do split routine? How many days have you, to, have you been training? How many years have you been training? Do you, do you do personal training? Okay, well, that's just now being annoying. Now you're trying to nerd out, and they're not, that's not even that nerdy. Do you want to get I know. Hers is much nerdy than your nerdy, because if someone needs to study their training a little more, if that's all you had is a split routine, that was as nerdy as you can get. No, split no, routine no. is, split routine on nerd level is like here, trellis nerd level is like here. So you need to nerd up your game a little bit. You need to nerd up. There's also arboring. No, stop. Stop. <laughs> we got. We can't afford to lose any more subscribers. So we already know I have it. I know. We're going to go into the negative. We're going to owe YouTube subscribers. We're going to owe them subscribers. We're going to be a negative. How, so, YouTube have a so YouTube speaking, channel? speaking, starting a conversation, asking questions. And again, so sh- can, should you be able to start a conversation with just your ki- other kids your age, kids other ages, your brothers and sisters, your parents, or adults? What about adults? Should a kid... You start a conversation with an adult? Yes. Have you ever started a conversation with an adult? Yes, but you don't talk to strangers. Stranger danger! Halt! Stranger danger! Have you ever started a conversation with an adult? Yes, multiple times. What? Many multiple times. times. Multiple times. Multiple times. Multiple times. Multiple. multiple. You guys talk about like multiple. Daddy says multiple. So there's another one, speaking, but that's one you do you think that that should be optional, like all right, let me decide or needed. Needed, right? What needed, a, definitely. How about basics like, hey, how you doing? What? Oh. That that <laughs> apparently you need to practice that <laughs> class a little more. <laughs> hey, how you doing? What's going on? What's your name? Midge. Oh, awesome to meet you, Midge. Why do they call you Midge? It's short for Midge because I'm the smallest one for the fam- in the family, but not for long. Short and stubby genetics. So how, who gave the name? Who gave the name Mitch? How long did we call you that? You or you? I don't know. And you're, it's you're gonna call you. Do you think when you're older, you're my still my whole entire life? But my do you think when? Do you think when you're older that you're still gonna go by the name Mitch? Like it's gonna stick? Yes. You think so? So yes. you're gonna be like this twenty something, thirty something year old person eventually have kids and you're gonna go by the name Mitch probably, right? You think so? Wouldn't that be pretty funny? Wouldn't that be even funnier if, if you were be going to be like? Hey, Mitch. Six foot one or like five foot twelve or something, and Wait, yeah, what? wrap your mind around that one. Five foot twelve. Imagine that, and 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 Tyson's only like five ten, and you're like five twelve, and you're like, hey, bro, what's up? Wouldn't that be pretty funny? He's only gonna be. Do you like see what I just did here? Do you see what I just did here? I I'm like. Do you see what I just did here? I'm four twelve right what? now. He's no no. At what that. did I do in general? We shook hands. And then you started off with a question. Hi, how are you? I started a conversation. What's your name? What's your name? name? Midge. Oh, that's, is that your real name? No. Oh, how'd you get the name? Oh, imagine this. And look, I'm interested in your story and your word and your name and your, and we're starting a conversation. I'm asking you questions about it. I'm asking you follow questions. I'm making a joke about it. And we're talking about the 20 years from now, making you think differently than you thought before. Like imagine, imagine you met an adult whose name was Skip. Skip. And you shake his hand and you're like, and I'm you, pretend I'm you. Oh, I'm so I'm scared. No, stop talking. Oh, I'm Ty- I'm Tyson. Oh God. <laughs> that's, now, that's a nightmare. Yeah, that just gave me a headache. <laughs> I'm Tyson. Holy shit! All right, I'm Tyson. You're Skip. Hey, how you doing? Good. Imagine hours. I'm the one that initiates. Imagine we're both standing there and we walk in, and I'm an 11 year old little puny kid. <laughs> puny kid, and I'm the one that puts my hand out first and make eye contact first to Skip, who's 38 years old. And I'm and the one that does that. Life. And I'm the one that does not have a miserable life, but he probably just isn't Mediocre. like thinking that way. So imagine that I throw my hand out first. Look, Skip is confused because he's whatever. And that's where out there. And he shakes. And I give a firm handshake, which makes him then respond with a firm handshake. Because otherwise it was like this little soft, like limpy little handshake. Well, wait, before we move on. Handshakes in like, school and at jujitsu classes. That's my whole point. This, like this, this is my whole point. That is something like, you should learn. You, need to how to, their hands you didn't get what I was also doing. Introducing yourself, how to introduce yourself leads to starting the conversation. Like, 
people don't know how to introduce them. They don't know how to, and if they do shake a kid's hand, they do this. They give you like this little limp powder puff, little marshmallow hand. And then hand. when you squeeze their hand, they're like. And they look at the ground. And then, yeah, hi, what's your name? Billy, Billy. What? Exactly. Like eye contact, handshake, introducing yourself, starting a conversation, lead, leading the conversation. Imagine you did that to Skip. So I'm Tyson, you're Skip. Skip. And I throw my hand out first and Skip's like, oh shit, I gotta shake. And, I, and you're giving me a limp, little limp marshmallow handshake. And I go firm as the 11 year old. So now you have to firm up too. And you're probably gonna be like, whoa, what is a good handshake? You work out there or something? That's I know, I just made him start the conversation because I crushed oh, his fucking hand. That's he's gonna, a lot of and he's gonna ask me. Sorry. If I'm, I'm working out, and I'm like, yes, yeah, Skip, so do you work out? Oh, you do, awesome. Do you go to the gym, you work out on your own? And 11 year old, lead, imagine that, leading the conversation. Like, those are the skills that are needed. So what's your name? Across the I'm freaking Skip. board. Oh, and then I forgot, Skip. So it's like, you see, you went instead of a workout thing, then after that, it's like, Skip. So is that your is that your actual name, Skip? It is? Oh, that is so cool. I never met a Skip before in my life. <laughs> I'm Tyson, I'm named after a fucking dog. Yesterday I was watching this TV Or, show say Skip, how did you get that name, Skip? Oh. Imagine an 11 year old asking an adult, Skip, do you, did they call you that your whole life? Do you think when you're 60 years old, people are gonna still call you Skip, the name you got when you were six years old because you were skipping along with a little fairy godmother? Even if and it's your real name, then definitely godmother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, when things come out sometimes. Post the podcast behind the scenes thing you do. You forgot. Okay, here, what are you saying? Post the behind the scenes thing of your podcast. Mm, yeah, we can't do all that. <laughs> all right, so there's one thing. How to introduce yourself, how to shake hands, make eye contact. Have they ever told you about shaking hands, introducing yourself, making no, eye contact no. in school? They no. never even said anything similar to that. Like, think about how like ridiculous that we is. We have English class, but that's how you, that's like... Great. And you read some lame books about like Moby like, Dick or something. Who's that? I don't know, I just want to say Moby Dick. <laughs> Why? It's a funny name to a book. They're probably not allowed to, but anyway. Let's keep yeah. moving on. Let's move on. All right, so what are some other things that you can tell me about? You, little one, or soon to be big one that's gonna look down at Skip. <laughs> and I'm gonna be Midge. Yes, Midge, what's some other thing like that um, you can think of that, that they should you should be learning or should have an option maybe of learning or whatever, what are some other things? They should learn how to organize themselves, have checklists have scheduled time blocks, have a calendar. And then after they have those things, <laughs> what should they do with those things? They Use should them. keep um, using them. Why are you getting all nervous and wiggly now all of a sudden? Because <laughs> yeah. you know the answer, but are you, yeah, all of a sudden we're disappearing when it comes to actually following the damn checklist and doing the things on checks. We all do, we all forget a checklist. What is on your shirt? <laughs> oh my God! Luckily that's hidden off camera. It's She's like- the demon chicken. It's like half your meal on there. What were you eating? Pasta. Pasta? It looks like a blood, like you got stabbed in the gut or something. By the chicken. By the chicken, by the murderous chicken on the prowl around town in your ghetto that you're in, the gangster neighborhood. Now you're like Urkel. Who's Urkel? Got some cheese. Exactly, you got some cheese from the TV show. He just wears his fingers up to his neck. Up to his neck? All right, so. Organization, I think that's some good ideas. What are some other things? Didn't that was supposed to be his and you were supposed to talk about other stuff, but what other kind of things? Inventory, inventory, or prepping. Maybe prepping, Slash inventory, prepping. keeping track of your sheets, learning Google Sheets, your Google, Google Drive, that's all stuff you do. You, Google do Google, you both Dogs. do Google Sheets, you do Google Drive. That reminds me, who wants a riddle? Oh gosh, all right, what do you got? Go to my um, scorecard. I'm at 0.25 out of one. Let's pull up my joke. I saw the answer. That, this this is a good joke. This is the, this is cheese. It's of a the riddle. Cheese. Oh shit! Is it figure outable? Yes. All right, let's All go. What do you got? It's got? a riddle. If the internet had a boat, where would they park it? No time since it's a riddle. Say it again. If the internet had a boat, where would they park it? The cloud, in the sea, in the ocean. The internet had a boat, where would they park it? On the flow, water, web, interweb, website. If the internet had a boat, where would they park it? Mm-hmm. Where do you park boats? In the bay? It's in the app. The dock? Oh, yeah, I'm just not there. Charging dock, station, charging station, dock. Internet. Internet. Come on. Docks. 
You gotta give more of a hint. He's sending, doing this is not a hint. He's bobbing for freaking apples is not it's a hint. A, it's an app that, that you use. use every day. Google Docs? Yep. Oh, God. It's the cheese <laughs> That's just of cheese. Horrible. But I get 0.25 because I still somewhat figured it out. So it's I got. So I have 0.5 out of 2. Of That's cheese. horrible. I need to like do an I'd give you half a point for that. No. Yeah, oh, yeah. It took like 10 minutes and it took like 10, 10, 10, 10 hints or whatever. All right, so let's get back on track here. So how about the creative stuff? What kind of creative stuff would you do in school? Well, no, like this, like these drawings that you can see, I think you can see them on the oh, camera like, even. Oh my God, that was from 2020. Holy. Like look, this drawing, these you did in school, these mm -hmm. you didn't. No, but you didn't do these in school. You did these at home. Yeah. These are all from home. I'm thinking these are from school. This. You think that that was from no. school? Home. 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 Jeez, that's like a we death, had, murder, and destruction. We have this ripped canvas. Um, that is disturbing. We have this ripped canvas, and Tyson, Tyson, um, made use of it by pretending it was a portal, and he made a demon dragon coming out of it that looks like the murder chicken. Um, murder. It does was, kind of look like a murder chicken. There was a, a that is monstrous very... tree. There's a robot. That is disturbing. If house. you would have drawn that, made that at school. I said to a mental hospital. They definitely would have put you on some medication. I'm you can see it on the wall. You can see the oh, wall. Oh, oh. I just want them to see it a little bit better. This is also the people who can't hear it. And then this, maybe they can hear the drawing. All right. So let's, let's, so what, what creative stuff do you actually do that are skills now in actual homeschooling that you didn't do? What are you learning about <coughs> how to do with, <coughs> when it comes to creativity? What are you doing? What kind of stuff? What, nerd? Oh. Canva and how to thumbnail. Apparently, you want to still go back to raising your hand and asking for permission back to school. I just you know. You keep shooting your, you, 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 you shot yourself in the foot like three times. You're gonna run out of freaking toes. Did you know that actually after the first day of school when we moved here, I I came back home and you were asking me a question and I almost raised my hand. I you asked that is me a question scary. That is, and I literally that is almost scary. They raised just, my hand. You're like brainwashed for that. Anyway, so what kind of stuff do you do like? that's creative and learning about that kind of stuff. Like, what do you do? Well, for both of our YouTube channels, we create- it's a channel, not a channel, but that's besides channels. 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 Channel. Channel. Channels. 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 So your YouTube, channel. so you have YouTube channels, you learn how to create a YouTube channel, how to start a YouTube channel. Actually, How to I record didn't, I didn't on have, a thing. I never, I never created my YouTube channel. How to do some editing stuff. How to, do you do, do thumbnails? You yeah. create the thumbnails, thumbnails. so that's creative. How to create videos. We created shorts. If you want to go watch some funny shorts on my YouTube channel, I guess the link can be in the description. That's a question mark. I don't know. Hell Freak. no. That will definitely lose search, our subscribers. In the YouTube, in search, the YouTube bar, search bar, Freak Fit. Freak Fit. Freak Fit. That's so you do, though. what apps do you use to create stuff? Like Canva. Canva, and what are the new ones you're learning to learn how to I'm edit videos? I'm learning how to vid edit videos on something called Filmora. Adobe, say that. Tyson, Adobe, I, you, I don't have Adobe, I have Filmora. So oh, Filmora, but you want to get Adobe say. Pro, right? Adobe Pro is the, Adobe you know, that's one of the, all the editors I see them li list is Adobe Pro. So many of them, like, that's a skill to learn. So we're going to have to get you the paid version of Adobe Pro, I think. Did you find out the options of the prices on that? I'm not going to look it up. You're supposed to bring that information to me. So. There's another thing, you're learning but responsibility, there's, there's learning no account. Free version of Think about this that you don't learn. So do you learn leadership in school? No. Do you learn communication in no. school? No. Do you learn teamwork no. in school? No. Oh, actually a Maybe little a little bit. bit of teamwork. Do you learn problem solving? Do you learn how to solve math? Decision. You solve math decision math problems. It's not problem solving. Decision making. Decision. No, you're told no. what your decisions are for the most part. How about accountability? Responsibility. No. Do you get chances to be leaders? They give you chances. They give opportunities for people to step up and lead and be leaders. No. And take charge of things. These no, are the I kind of things. I never thought of any of this before. Like discipline. Do they teach discipline in general? Any self like actually no. self discipline. Any. What about? Oh. What's another one that I they have don't? Another story. What's another one that they don't go into that I'm waiting for you to talk about this entire time? We're about to leave the subject, and you're going to lose your chance about like your main one. Movies. Okay, you may be able to do it. You're the oh. expert in that field, this field. <laughs> what? Smart movies. No, not that. Oh. That too, like with movies we pick are... Business. The, no, that too, but not even that. You are learning health about... Health and nutrition. Yes. Health, fitness, nutrition. 
But apparently you aren't the expert in that. Let's talk about it, Miss oh, oh. Expert Midge, since he doesn't even remember that that's like what his main thing was he was going to be talking about. Okay. But it's all good. Freedom Week fries the brain. No, it doesn't. So business, learning how to start a business, run a business, marketing, writing emails. You write emails. You schedule them to go out, right? Like you know when they're going to go out. You know how to recording. schedule out an email recording. How to, talk how to, to upload, how to download. You're editing the stuff and the videos so and, much. and creating links and all this. And then... Health and fitness and nutrition. What about it? expert? Since he forgot, he was supposed to be the expert. I did not prepare for health and fitness and nutrition. That is his okay. thing. Okay, but do what do they learn about health and fitness and nutrition? And do they learn about reading labels or protein, carbs, fats? No. Like really? Oh, that or? I kind of, that I learned on my own. They actually do they learn that in school? Oh, they yes. encourage. They do teach that in school. They, no, they don't teach it. In they encourage kids. You are just. They encourage, I, I they know. encourage artificial candy. And, and during PE, they make us do rock, paper, scissors. There's what is that going to do for rock, us? Rock, paper, scissors during, no one can tell you. Yeah, what they should, in they school, in school they should teach how to, to do a, actually, they don't let you do push -ups. Do some physical education. They Even when you play you a do sport, do. when you play a sport, say you're playing basketball mm -hmm. or kickball or dodgeball. The dodgeball's not allowed anymore. What do you mean it's not allowed? It's it's like, if you play, you are banned, detention. expelled, suspended. Dodgeball is like detention. the king of all elementary school sports. That is like the like highest of the high, the best of the best. Anymore. One time, are me you and my friends me? used to be One so time, fun. me and my friends tried to get these deflated, um, deflated, um. deflated handballs. Uh, uh, after it, like dodgeball was already like banned and stuff, and. One of the supervisors came over and she's like, what are you doing? My God. And oh we're God. like, we're just playing dodgeball with these deflated balls so we can't hurt each other. And she's like, that's so dangerous. What are you doing? You can't be doing that. Put those balls away right now. Did her name happen to be Miss Karen, by the way? Um, No, her name was Miss Ezekiel. Uh, <laughs> I'll censor that out. Snitches and the dishes. We don't say names here on this show. Walk that out. Oh my like, God! You better learn how to do some video editing. So you can better <laughs> take out those things you just snitched on. Just Jesus. like in the operator. She's dropping. Feet. She's dropping freaking names on this show. She don't. So Miz don't. Name? Miz don't give a flip. I know. Holy shit! They're so gonna are, come after you. But are they teaching you what healthy foods you should be eating? How many grams are a pro, how many calories in a gram of protein? How many calories in a gram of carbs and fat? And how you should break down your food? What's healthy? What's not? How to work out? How to train? Things between strength training and cardio training and nutrition split and routines. all this stuff. That's all you know about <laughs> training. Oh, you keep mentioning split routines because split routines. Trellis is much nerdier, so yep, you get your nerd game up, kid. All right, so we're done with that section. We're gonna move on. Dun, dun. Part of what oh, we wait, do. Can we do the question of the week? That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, question of oh. the week. It's question of the day, first of all. So well, part of no each. question of the week. You know how we always ask. You part of our homeschooling every week is me. Every day, I get, I send you both on our group. We have a group Google chat, a group Google chat, and I send you a question of the day. I send you a question of the day. And we talk about those each day. So what we're going to do today, since we're on Freedom Week, you didn't get it first thing in the morning and you didn't see it till after, it, it, didn't, it didn't go out until after you got from the gym. So we're going to do the question of the day right here, live. First you guys want to joke? No, I'm putting you on the spot for question of the day. Nice try. You're not stalling. We're going to do the question of the day right here. You have to answer live on the mic. Good luck with that one, kid. I, I quit. I, I, I'm gone again. I'm, I'm gone again. again. You're quitting again. Bye. She's just being again like before when we talked about the chickens, the time blocking. No, the time blocking. All right, so let me pull it up. If, I'm back. And if you were paying attention when we were sitting there in our meeting, I actually pasted the question of the day into the file that it goes in, so you could have seen this an hour ago if you were looking. Uh, we were. Oh, it's not like how it other... is. I didn't have time to put the dots in. Hello, oh, Pop. Stop looking at it. Close it right now. Close that right yes, now. Sir. You lost your chance, kid. Shoot. What's it called? The file. Why is it I'll make it a question of the day, EFA. I'm in the wrong group. All right, let's pull this up. Mitch, close that right now. Okay, okay. Okay, I was trying to pull it up. <laughs> All right, the Can question of the day. Can I pull my file where I type my answers in? No. The question of the day okay. is, and I send them a question every day. These are questions I also send to private coaching clients, one of my coaching clients. I send to them because this is what the kind of things I want them thinking and the, 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 the way to think throughout the day. Just 
focus because you need to be, we're going to be answering these on the fly right here. Today's Wednesday. Wednesday wisdom was, what is something I learned from another person yesterday? What is something I learned? I'm going to read the whole thing to you and so you can let some of it sink in and then you can answer different parts of it because I know this is really meant to be sitting down and writing it out. It's kind of hard on the fly to get yeah. stuff. So I'm going to read the whole thing. What's something I learned from another person yesterday? When was the last time I learned something from an unlikely source, someone or something I didn't expect to teach me something? And who is someone I want to learn more from? And the next one is, who can I learn from that I wouldn't immediately think of, of as someone I can learn from? And then the last part is, how well do I listen to someone if I think they have nothing to offer me? And then the follow-up to that is, what can I offer them instead? Wow. And then I always followed up with like a little comment, you know, a little sentence after, and it says, know when to shut up and when to speak up. Learn something new every day from every person you encounter, from every situation, even from the least expected places. So I'm going to start with you. And while you get a chance to think of some of those answers, you better start thinking of something. You can pull them up now if you want. I'll even pull up right here. Here you can see. No, you don't need to because you're going to be answering right off the bat because you should be answering. You're going to answer the one about when was the last time I learned something from an unlikely source, someone or something I didn't expect to teach me something. When did, can you give me an example of when that might have happened? When that might have happened was when we were at the gym today. Today. This is how weird this is. Listen to this, Mitch. You hear that question about like, think of like, I don't want to say a homeless person or just someone that you... You judge people automatically sometimes, right? You think, oh, and they start talking and you like start blocking them out because you think that there's nothing that they're going to tell you That's or teach you. That's what I you. did. That's exactly what this I did. This guy started talking to us in the locker room at the gym just today. After I already sent this out, I'm like, this is like a message from the universe or from God or something that like we're on the right track with the way that we're thinking. This guy just started talking about his heart rate monitors. His heart asking me about the heart rate monitor and his heart rate and how he went in the sauna. Sauna and then he goes into the pool to get stimulate his ketones metabolism. and metabolism. And he's like telling us all like and this I like he's missing like a lot of teeth and like look he like been through a lot in his life. Let's put it that way. He looks like he's been through a lot. You know what I mean? He rode his bicycle there to the gym. Like a kind of beat up bike, but he gets to the gym and he's trying and then, and he's telling us all this stuff and he's like Tell us about metabolism and the ketones. What are you doing? You're an elephant my, scratching your back? My back is Have like some freaking discipline. Okay. Sorry. Holy shit. Sorry. I'm sitting there trying to talk and I see this elephant Mary over here. I see SpongeBob over here. Can't reach his back with his little T-Rex arms and trying to scratch his back. Holy shit. Sorry. So this guy's like teaching us all this stuff in his locker room. And, and normally you'd be like rush, want to think about like brushing someone off. Hey, I got to go. I can't really talk. But I, I remembered my question of the day today. I said, you know what? I'm going to sit here and listen to him. I might even ask him a follow-up question or tell him about my heart rate monitor or something like that. And then on top of that, this guy even, and it says, one of the quite one of the parts of the question was, how well do I listen to someone if I think they have nothing to offer me? Because you brush people off when they could be the most brilliant person in the world, someone you could learn More stuff from. Einstein. And what can I offer them instead? And as we're talking and I'm, we're asking him, I'm telling him about the heart rate monitor or whatever, he tells us, he, he says, it gives a double thumbs up because he sees a father and a son working out together. And he's like, I give you a double thumbs up. Kudos to you, which means like, good job to you. I wish I would have started, I wish I would have started off getting my stuff together younger, meaning like he probably had a rough life and now he's getting it together. And he sees this father and his son sitting there willing to have a conversation with him in a locker room. Like this old dude's like, so what can I offer them instead? Some hope, some inspiration, some realizing that there's people out there that are doing things the right way and he could be affected by them and he could have a conversation with them. Like that made this guy's day when you think about it. So mm -hmm. it was a crazy that that happened today right after we did this question today. So then what mid or either one of you, what's something you learned from another person yesterday? Or when was the last time you learned something from an unlikely source, someone you didn't think you would expect to teach you something? I really need to think about that. Who's someone you want to learn from more? I want to learn more from, well, I mean, I know a lot from you. I obviously want to learn more from you, but I don't know much about Mommy, and I only recorded one of her podcasts so far. Tyson recorded the rest. So I want to learn more about her. 
I, I, don't take that as anything that I don't want to learn from you because I still do. But well, I we just, sit here and I tell all these deep, dark stories and secrets. I know. So yeah, because with her, I barely. And on your podcast, and I record. He's your recording podcast. now eleven episodes of my podcast. The first eleven episodes. There's we've done. some stuff in there you're gonna want to listen to for sure. If you're an adult. If you're a subscriber, so subscribe to the channel. So, so, so you want to learn more from life. me, and look, you want to learn more from your mother. So that's a perfect lesson for kids out there, and that's what the first. Same for me. That's, that's what the first. Listen, that's what the first five episodes were about here of breaking the cycle was kid things your seventeen things your kids are dying to know about their parents. Why don't you take those same questions and go ask them to your mother? Can we have her interviewed on the show? You could, or just do a separate be separate podcast or separate show with her, whatever, whatever you want to do. But you, should, why not use those things? Make a list of all the questions that you've already asked, and then. I want that list also because I need to talk about that on my show about to tell to other parents out there. Have these conversations with your kids. Talk about these things your kids want to know about. What was the first thing, t- first time you stole something? I mean, sorry, acquired, uh, acquired, uh, borrowed, 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 borrowed something. That was the last episode. That was, that was freaking borrowed. Awesome. No, Jesus. Like, chill out. I need to cover up. All right, so the, the point was Real. to go over that question of the day and kind of bring it up and they're really meant to be sitting down and alone in a room and focusing and writing these out, really thinking about it. So these are really hard to answer in conversation, but that's probably a lesson right there to learn Yeah. that you need to be thinking more and be ready to like, you should be able to have a conversation off those questions right now. Not have to think, oh, I have to be alone and think about it and this and that, get that mind a little sharper to be able to answer stuff like that. Like these are deeper, meaningful questions that you should be able to answer on the fly, like right there. Imagine asking this type of stuff to an adult. Imagine if you started letting this stuff sink into your brain, you mean adult, and you say to them, so t- tell me something you learned yesterday from someone. And and Bob, no, not Bob, what was his name? Skip? Skip will be like, what the shit? Like some 11 year olds like putting you on the spot. That dude will start sweating and will start being uncomfortable. That's what it needs He'll to be. He'll run away from you. He needs, that's what you need to do. He'll it's like, away. be that, like show adults if you have to how to have these kind of conversations and tough questions. So thought that was a question today. That's part of what we do in home life is have the point of that, the way this ties into this episode is we have these tough questions, deeper questions and make you really think and think for yourself and answer them and what comes to mind for you and how to have these tough conversations. Can sometimes. I do a joke now? Yes. We got to wrap this up. And we got to do your question. We're going to have to say that because it's pretty long. It's Go. just going to take next one. What can next you, one. What next can next you serve? What can you serve but not eat? A tennis tennis ball. Dang. Is that it? Holy crap. That's a point and a half. Crap. I'm getting a point and a half for that. So that gives me ah, still two points out of three. No, still quest because this one. We yeah, had this yeah, question yeah, so yeah. very long. All right, so this was all about the things that you kids are actually learning in school versus what you think they should be learning in school. We came up to the conclusion they should have some freedom to choose. Hey, I want to learn about this this year. I'm in third grade, but I want to choose to learn about this. And I don't really give a crap about that. Maybe one day I will, or maybe maybe sometime I'll dip in there and check it out and whatever else and learn and do it. Not just get some written test that you're never going to memorize. You're just memorizing the answers. And you're never going to use that shit again on some useless information that you don't care about. So talk about business, talking about business. Gardening, health and fitness and nutrition, speaking, public speaking, introducing yourself, asking questions, starting conversations, organizing your day, schedules and checklists, being creative, doing checklists and Google Sheets and all that other stuff and YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. create YouTube channels and all the stuff that's usable. Like those things that you go over that we just talked about are stuff that you're going to use 10, 20 years from now to start your own businesses or a year from now or tomorrow to start your own business. So this has been another Awesome freaking episode. Good, good job, job, good job. Everybody. Nice work, nice work. Good Harry good Nussle, job. fist bump around. Nussle? What? Good Nussle bump. If you haven't already, if you want to join those nine subscribers, smash, smash that, that subscribe button, click the notifications bell, and the like button. Comment, share, like, <laughs> subscribe, notification bell. Share it. whatever you want to call it. Just do With it. Your goat. With your hamsters, with your fish, with Dogs your mouths. All right, anything you want to finish them off with as we take off? No! Hey! Scout! Scout! You can't tell because they're screaming microphone. They're saying no excuses. Anyway, in case no one told you yet today, you, you are, are freaking awesome. Flipping awesome. No excuses. We will see you next time on Breaking the Cycle.